Okay, here's the truth. If you want to break into tech and actually get a job, then you need to be better than everyone else. There's no easy way of saying this, but in this video, hopefully I'll show you some tips on how you can actually be better than the other people applying. So the other day on LinkedIn, I saw a really interesting post by a recruiter. And recruiters, if you don't know, they're kind of headhunters and they go out and they get, they find people for roles in tech. And they were saying that a job they posted, it had something like 400 applicants. And this can be quite demoralizing to people. Obviously, if you're on LinkedIn and it says how many people have applied and it says 400. But, but what they were trying to say was, out of that 400, basically 200 people didn't read the job description. So they weren't in the country that the job was being applied for. And it said entrance from the US only. Then another 100 of them didn't have any relevant skills. So that knocked them out. And then it was something like only eight out of the 400 actually had relevant skills, uh, were willing to go to an office one day a week, and uh, were, were candidates for the role. So that knocked down 400 to eight, and then out of that eight, uh, you've got a one in eight chance, really, of getting the job. But I guess the key thing is, uh, because, I, because I teach a course online, and um, I try and help out students, I, I've noticed a common theme among people and that is a lot of people expect things really quite easily now. And it's kind of just, this is quite hard uh, to listen, but people need you, need, you need to put more effort in, really. That's the truth. It, it, people are always looking for a quick fix or how can I get this job as quickly as possible? I want two weeks and I want to get 80 grand or something like that. The truth is it took me like six years to learn design. And I'm not saying you can't do it in a year but you, you certainly can't do it in two weeks this is something that you need to invest time into basically when employers are looking for people they're looking to hire skills they're not really looking to train you so uh, in the interview process you're looking for someone who knows what they're talking about and the only way to do that is by putting hundreds of hours of work in so you can do that in a course or you can do that in your own time by getting up early putting a couple of hours in in the morning um, this time, really, it, it, you're investing in your own skill set. And this is how you actually get a job. Um, because you, you need, in our craft, so I'm from a UI UX background or a design background, um, you, need a, you need a portfolio to show, and that could be if you're a developer, uh, and a lot of other tech fields will have some, like, even development has a test. And you need to invest in your knowledge early so rather than um, focusing on oh, i want to get into tech because it pays a lot of money it pays a lot of money because there's not many people who have the skills um for the job that that that's that's where the money comes from it's not like google or microsoft just want to throw money at you and give it away for free they pay that money because um it's a supply and demand issue uh, there's supply of jobs <coughs> and uh, well, or the supply is low of people with the skills and demand is high for jobs, so prices go up. So what this video really is about is you investing in yourself and not trying to rush into a career too quickly. And that is really building up you, you, your skills and that, that could be done through an online course. So I teach a course careers. But, but what I teach you is, and what it could be any course online, we teach you the skills to get a portfolio ready. And there's no, no course in the world which is going to give you a job at the end of that. Your task then is to represent yourself to the companies um, and, and show off the, the knowledge of the work that you've got. And you really need to go above and beyond. And that's, that's what my teaching is all about. It's no, but I, I'm not going to, uh, if I'm uh, like normally if I'm hiring for a designer and I get 10 people, I'm going to look for the one who's gone above and beyond. And that is not someone who's just done a course. It's someone who has uh, put deposits of goodness into the world, shall I say, uh, like someone who goes to a local company and helps them out, um, does some freelancing online. I'm not talking about like Fiverr and websites either. I'm talking about like, it could just be a local business. You, you could help them out um, with your design skills in many ways. You could do, you know, I really teach about doing internships. I think they're very important. And the kind of like modern day apprenticeships, I think actually going into a work environment and uh, giving of yourself 
and you and you're receiving back just just think about it you're not receiving back great amounts of compensation but you're receiving back a lot of knowledge and a lot of skills from other people so the best way really to go about getting a job nowadays is to set yourself a schedule and that would be so I, i'm an early bird and i always used to get up before the family I, i've just constantly done this is how i got for university I used to get up at six or five in the morning as long as you get into bed late. Nothing really ever good happens um, in the night time or proactively I found towards uh, living, you know, your best life as your best self. So I used to get up in the morning, I used to sit down, I used to have breakfast at the computer, I used to do two hours of studying a day and you'll be surprised over a week and then you can just get on with your day then at eight o'clock, you can go to your regular job, you can, you can do your life and it, and because you're putting that as a priority first in the morning, you're kind of getting it done. I used to do weekends as well. I, I didn't, I don't take uh, breaks in. I mean, you can do it, but you think about two hours a day, that's 14 hours a week. And over a month, you're looking at uh, nearly 60 hours. So like a, a couple of months, you're gonna get over 100 hours of experience of you learning and, and doing skills and really building out your portfolio. And then how you actually get a job is, remember, they're your skills and then what a lot of people also are lazy at doing uh, which is the truth is just applying on linkedin just applying on job boards and wondering oh, why 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 aren't i getting a call back um the truth is you need to sell yourself you need to phone up these people i've sat next to recruiters in work they love talking on the phone um but if they had 10 people apply for a job and only one of them actually called them up and went and put some effort in and said do you mind having a coffee um, or do you mind having a chat about the role? It, it, it's really putting, you, you wanna put yourself above everybody else. And that's by doing things just out the box, just just using your imagination to put yourself first. I really think calling, having a chat with someone, having a chat with the hiring manager, these people don't mind talking. And I feel like you need to sell yourself. That's, that's there's, a, there's gonna be, for, for a job, there's going to be a hundred people who have the same skill set as you. There's a lot of people doing courses now. Tech, because because it's traditionally paid well, every kid wants to be in tech, really. But not every person uh, wants to put in effort and go and actually go above and beyond and do it. So remember, you're a sales, per, you're a sales person for yourself. You need to learn the art of selling. Maybe, maybe download some sales books or listen to some audio books, try and learn skills outside of just your field. But um, you're basically your own agent and you need to represent yourself. Have a really solid foundation of knowledge, read books, uh, do courses, watch YouTube videos, have practical skills, um, real life practical skills as well. You can do example projects. You can, so on the course we do example projects, but I also really think it's important to have real life projects. Um, Local businesses are fine. Any anything in real life is good. Try and get an internship. Again, I was lucky to get mine at British Vogue in the UK. I got mine through my college. But maybe just don't apply through the traditional ones. Even see if there's any local design agencies. And smaller agencies don't do things like they don't put out applications for work experience because it's a pain for them to look after someone who's um, just going there. So phone them up and um, show initiative. I. I I went to a place which was a photo studio and I just asked the guy who owned it if I could come down for a couple of weeks and sit in there and learn. And that was counted as a work experience. But on my LinkedIn, it looks like um, a professional place that I went to work and it shows that I'm actually getting experience in the real world. So you need to get out there. Don't just think all the jobs are remote. Remember, there's gonna be, most people are gonna want remote jobs now. So if you're serious about working in tech, throughout my 20s, I went and lived in London and now live in the countryside. So. Later on in my life, I was able to come out of the city environment, but um, it, it's just you, you're just going to have more chance, honestly, of getting a job if you live within reach of an office or can at least commute. Like throughout my life, I did five-hour commutes one day a week. Um, you know, you've just got to you've just got to put the effort in. Don't expect you're going to get eighty grand just for sitting at home on your computer. That's not realistic for a junior role, and it's not what remember it's not. The companies that's not what they're going to want they're going to want someone they can train up and um, teach skills to because they're going to have to invest a lot in you so that's what i would do if i was starting again and how i would actually get a job which is going above and beyond learn skills have a good practical portfolio and represent myself and then um, try and become a salesperson
So <laughs> I hope that helps. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Oh, and if you're interested in doing the UI UX course, then I'd love to see you at Course Careers. So check it out, links in the description.